Dan, his name is Robert Jackson. He comes to us from Turlock, California. He served there for almost a decade and he was the police chief there since 2012. I got to welcome him to Seaside this afternoon and talk to him about his new job. Wednesday was day one on the job for new Seaside Police Chief Robert Jackson. He's still living in boxes, but he's already talking about the department's future. And obviously I wouldn't want to change anything that's being successful, but I also want to up the game a bit and really focus on, uh, you know, giving ownership to the community as well. You know, be a part of the crime solution, crime prevention. Jackson says community policing is important and so are filling the vacancies at the department. It's top on his priority list. The former police chief, Vicki Myers, is retiring, but she will stay on with the city doing special projects until her official retirement in May 2017. Myers twice received a vote of no confidence from the Seaside Police Union. The new chief says it's a tough job and thanked her for her service. He says going forward, he plans to meet with each employee one-on-one. -on -one. Well, I think it's very important for a chief to be connected with the employees. Um, I'm going to meet one-on-one -on -one with each employee, talk to them about everything. You know, everything's on the table. The new chief is scheduled to be sworn in at tomorrow night's city council meeting that starts at 7 o'clock. Dan. All right, thank you very much, Caitlin. Jackson will be earning just under $170,000 a year. Meantime, police in Gilroy today announced their chief is retiring at the end of the year. Denise Turner has served as chief for nine years. Her law enforcement career spans 31 in all. She says it has been an honor to serve as chief, even during what she says were very challenging times for law enforcement. Her last day will be December 30th.